What's up guys and welcome back to more Little Big Planet 2. Today we might have sort of just a one-off video of the History Kit. This is something that released back in 2009. A really cool little DLC. Basically it should just be one little level, a step through time. Let's head in. So these levels are sort of interesting. Ooh. We're in Egypt. Because these levels aren't like Metal Gear Solid or DC Comics or the Toy Story 2 DLC. These don't tell a story. These don't have multiple levels in a sequence. These are one level for the base focus of giving you more prizes. And that's what the DLC is purchased for and you just sort of have a level to acquire them. So why don't we just go through, step through time as the level calls it. And it's pretty cool. It's fun because it's like we do actually get to step through time and adventure through different like time areas and that's what I think this one's cool. And there's also um, costumes you can get in this one as well. But yes, now we're in Egypt. Can I jump high enough for this? Yes, I can. <laughs> and these are cool. You know, they have quite a few of these. I know that they have a Marvel one as well. I don't think they actually have a level, a Marvel like level adventure kit like they did DC Comics, but maybe I'm wrong. There's tons of awesome, you know, like levels like this though that they've made through DLC. Oh, I'm missing all over the place now. Ready? Ah! I just think it's funny though, it's like, Throughout the ancient depths of the Egyptians comes a zebra. <laughs> All right then, so let's run around though. I like how they use the sponge for sand. It's it's pretty creative. Ah, who are you? It's a crazy guy. Maybe we're the, not the only people stepping through time. Oh, and it looks like we're in China now, or Japan, maybe. There's samurai all over the place. And we get a bunch of awesome stuff, as you can see. There's stickers everywhere. Come on now. Ooh, that's just about all of them there. Get all these as well. We gotta keep an eye out though. I, hopefully we won't miss any, because I wouldn't want to miss anyone, any of them in a level like this, because you sort of get your money's worth for getting them all. I just find it cool. Oh, now it's Albert Einstein over here. <laughs> Ooh, oh, it's the rock. The first ever rock. <laughs> that's cool. I just, I like how it is a step through time. Hey look, it's a barbarian lady, cool. Oh man, this might be a little tricky. It's it's Stonehenge. Let's uh, hop up here. Ugh. Uh oh, how are we gonna do this? Maybe I need to hop up here first. This is a little tricky of a jump. Hmm, what to do? I feel like we need to just hop on this little ledge. There we go, and just sort of have a leap of faith. How are we gonna get on top of Stonehenge? It looks like we gotta have to come over here from the right. Maybe I can get up here. Ugh. Oh man, this might be a little tricky, guys. How am I gonna do this? Maybe I can hop up here. Oh no, there's another old philosopher guy over there. Come on, why is this? Oh, this is really difficult. Ready? Yeah. Oh, so close. Come on, ready, set. Huh. Come on, I'm a zebra. I got them hops. I gotta be able to do this. Okay, I was able to get that. Ooh, there we go. Awesome. Now let me see. If I gotta get this jump just right. Ha! <laughs> there we go. Jumping champions. <laughs> All right then. So there we go, new audio object. I'm waiting to see where we get the costumes from, because that would be nice, of course. Uh-oh, Abraham Lincoln. That was so, Abraham Lincoln, you don't belong here. <laughs> this is like ancient Roman times. I like it though, <laughs> there he is. We just got the Abraham Lincoln sticker. Maybe it's not Abraham, but I, I'm pretty sure it is. Ooh, what is this? Is this a sticker? No. All right then, let's uh, hop down, pick this up. Oh, there's the sticker we just found. That's a weird sticker, what is it supposed to be? Huh, weird. I feel like we're getting making some good progress here. I feel like we've collected everything we've ran into so far. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. All right, there we go. So far, so good. Now, I'm probably not going to cover all of the DLC that is like this, that's just one level full of collectibles, but since I have this one, I'm doing it out of convenience. Also, that was like, I forget his name. Is that Galileo? Who knows, who knows? <laughs> okay, then, looks like this wants to bring me up, but before I do, of course, hey, look, it's Napoleon! <laughs> Dynamite. All right, then, let's pick all this up. I love all this sticker stuff, it's so much fun. And then it's like, of course, I like how the level sort of shows off, this is what you can do with all the cool stuff you're collecting, is everything in this level. And that's sort of what it is for. It's for those, you know, those builders who want to make something really dynamic. This pack might help them for that. All right, looks like I'm hopping to the right now. Hell, oop! Watch out, Napoleon! 
Also, is this material maps? It looks like it. Pretty cool. I mean, this is an old, uh, old, very, very old pack, so it's gonna be, uh, you know, surprising me so much. Is that the queen? I hope that's the queen of England. <laughs> but you might be able to tell that I'm not very historically inclined, but this is definitely George Washington. You cannot tell me that's not. I mean, there's George Washington, and he's imposing his presence on the Indians. Poor Indians. All right, then is there anything behind the tents? That'll be helpful to know. <laughs> These stickers are awesome, though. I love them. All right, then. Are they behind here? No, they're not. Okay, then. Level complete. Which one's us? Tapestry. Antique maps. And cave painting. Oh, they're probably all little things. And no lives lost. Which one's us? Ooh, the Chinese bell. The Gothic gorgoyle. And the Egyptian mask. I want to see our percentage here. Please let it be 100. Come on, it's going up and up and up. Yes, we got all 100%. Which one's us? Aztec mask, Mayan mask, and Roman black. Awesome. So there we go, that is what the history kit is. Now there are some uh, costumes that I'm gonna try to dig up here. I might have to uh, sort it by something though. I'll have to be right back. Okay, I finally got it all figured out here. We have the uh, Ada Lovelace wig. So we have Ada Lovelace, Bodisha, Genghis Khan, and Mozart. So let's do the uh, Ada Lovelace, uh, which I don't know who this person is in history. It looks to be something European though. I guess I I'm not the most historically accurate person. I don't know everything about history, but I like this one, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and of course you could use whatever skin you wanted for these kind, I feel like. You know, maybe the uh, white pattern would be better here. And then you also have, you have a few of these, which is it's pretty cool for four uh, costumes. This one's pretty cool. Um, where'd it go? Is it gone? No, no. Okay, it's over here. Bodisha hair. And where would that be? Um, this dress and then the sandals. And then her spear. Oh, that's cool. This looks like a kilt too. She's like an Irish warrior. <laughs> it's probably not what she is at all, but it still looks very, very cool. I love that. Ah! <laughs> All right, then what, what else do we have here? We have um, the Genghis Khan awesome, and then after that we have Mozart so that'll be cool Let's uh, get rid of the wig. We don't need the wig here <laughs> Genghis Khan does not wear a wig. He's the most ultimate ruler of all time. I Mean he has quite the spot in history and he looks pretty darn awesome in Little Big Planet. I love that. His hat is probably the coolest part. It just has this excellent amount of detail to him. Okay, then we have finally Mozart. So let's uh, unequip this and this and put on our excellent Mozart wig and of course our classy clothes. <laughs> I love it. So I'm like, yes, yes, absolutely awesome. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this little history kit pack video. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and family and, you know, commenting your thoughts. What do you think about the history kit? Have you ever had it yourself? What do you think about the fun little costumes that it has in a little level to boot? I'd love to hear your thoughts and, of course, for more Little Be Planet content, make sure you're subscribed and you keep watching. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. This video is sponsored by LittleBigGalaxy.com a top-of-the-line source for the latest LittleBigPlanet news, updates, and forum discussions.